an interesting uh, one we're having from the laboratories, which is the topic is about quality testing and requirements for the export market. And really it's because if we're going to go into aquaculture and a lot more fisheries, uh, some of it hopefully will be, or a lot of it would be exported. Now the talk will be a little bit about the background, uh, let's talk a little bit about Rumi because she's had an extensive uh, background as a, uh, a microbiologist and a chemist and of course quality testing involves lots of testing for uh, the different chemicals as well as uh, you know any possible contaminants and it's very important particularly for the, the chain from harvest on to export because obviously the export markets won't allow us to go in and also uh, the she's the business development manager at uh, the company SGH and SDS, sorry, and also Kolitha Amara Singer. We'll, they both work together at SGS and they'll be speaking for about 15 minutes. Thank you. Uh, good morning and uh, good evening all. And I'm here. And uh, actually, this is a very important topic. And uh, when it uh, comes to Sri Lanka, Sri Lanka export uh, this uh, wildcat as well as culture. And uh, this will be important in the future because uh, uh, in 1960, that per capita consumption was uh, around 9.9 .9 kilogram, but in 2016, the future is uh, per capita consumption was uh, around 20, means it doubled. And according to the uh, UN FOA uh, guidelines and uh, the findings, they found that nine, uh, 2030. The requirement for uh, uh, fisheries uh, seafood requirement was uh, 260 million tons. Uh, According to our uh, 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 availability, it will be around uh, 210 million tons. Uh, but uh, the balance 50 million will be um, covering by aquaculture. Because of that, uh, that will be good uh, achievement and good uh, effort for, uh, in Sri Lanka also. Uh, when it comes to uh, testing uh, requirement in Sri Lanka, that actually Sri Lanka are mainly sending tuna and sword as a fish and uh, shrimps, crabs, and other uh, uh, reef fish uh, uh, for some uh, uh, also. And uh, SGS Sri Lanka providing testing uh, and inspection and certification also. Uh, uh, when it comes to uh, testing all the requirement as per EU exports and uh, Sri Lanka fisheries requirement also we are covering. And uh, mainly uh, EU requirements, uh, mainly cadmium, lead, kind of mercury, kind of things are testing, and as well as uh, histamine in tuna. And uh, when it comes to export uh, I mean inspections, uh, uh, quantity inspection, we are covering actually Maldives as well as Sri Lanka both. And uh, when it comes to certification, mainly BRC, FOS, and uh, uh, other things are uh, uh, doing by uh, SDS. Uh, FOS mainly a uh, friend of the sea uh, uh, certification that is covering uh, the sustainability of fish. Um, uh, my my OVB is uh, uh, in Sri Lanka right now also having uh, better factories which is at, uh, uh, certified by BRC, HSCCT and other ISO uh, certifications. And uh, same way, and uh, we know that a lot of uh, farmings are happening in uh, northern part, especially streams in uh, Sri Lanka, but uh, most exports are happening through Colombo, through someone else. But uh, if you can develop some people from their direct exports, then they will get uh, more revenue and more earnings. Uh, in, in Sri Lanka, that uh, uh, there are some uh, international forums also working with us, like I union and all. Uh, right now, also we are doing some uh, uh, inspection for the crabs. Uh, uh, my, my opinion is, if you can develop some uh, value-added products uh, like a canned fish or some um, uh, some kind of uh, dried or uh, value-added uh, some uh, long-term uh, shelf-life products, that will be helpful for them. However, that uh, if anyone needs that uh, anything that uh, new developments, uh, new support from uh, from that uh, testing side or uh, certification side, that, uh, definitely we can develop as per the requirements. 
that Ruini will continue that uh, other part of the uh, uh, presentation. Okay. It's, um, so, like uh, when it comes to eating seafood, includes also that um, it's a good source of high quality protein and other essential nutrition, particularly omega-3 fatty acid. So, however, mislabeling and uh, species substitution, like uh, using cheap or alternative, um, is widespread throughout the industry, that, uh, which actually leads to uh, particularly the recall of the products and um, damaging the reputation of the brand names and not even not only the brand names but also damaging the reputation of the industry as a whole. So it has also contributed uh, to an increased risk to health. I mean I'm talking about the consumption of seafood uh, due to the allergens like uh, heavy metals, histamines in seafood. So however uh, so this has been mitigated by having testing or uh, like quality checks at different part of the supply chain. So um, what basically uh, happening in the uh, world is right now is uh, Sorry, is there is the screen The consumer is very particular about what their product is coming from, how it has been the whole process uh, needs to be uh, uh, checked. So that is why, uh, so like uh, at SGS, uh, we have a uh, state of art laboratory facility in Colombo uh, to check all these, uh, to all, like, manage all these testing services. So like, there are two main ways that uh, exports goes out from the country. Uh, one can be in fresh form or like in, or in the frozen form. So in fresh form, shelf life mostly given is uh, seven to uh, six to seven working, uh, I mean, six to seven days. So there are exporters who do, who do only the fresh production. What they do is uh, they get their harvest, they have, I mean, they have the plant, they get their raw material, supposing it's a Friday, they get their raw material, they send it to a laboratory to um, check the quality. So here, uh, what basically happens is they check for the allergens like histamines or like uh, the heavy metals mainly. So if the mercury levels are high, the raw material get rejected, it's not suitable for their exports. So the second, so laboratories like us have one day service for them. Yeah, they can uh, uh, take the correct raw material, the quality uh, raw material to their production and uh, they, do their pro they do their production on Saturday and uh, sh ship it or like uh, send it through air cargo the same day to their destination. So uh, by Sunday, the production is ready at the, at the markets in whatever the destination. So the destination requirements, the quality requirements can vary. So USA has their, USA has their own uh, quality requirement. EU might have their own requirement, but uh, they do overlap. Like uh, now when it comes to certification, uh, uh, system certification, uh, this BRC, ISO, uh, BRC is uh, especially for the UK, the London. Um, market so the EU has uh, FSSI so USA has another so like uh, requirements the testing requirement uh, can vary according to the regulatory requirement of each country but of course uh, we can uh, as, as, a, as a country uh, we have the local capability to uh, cater to any market so uh, technology and innovation is uh, also an important um, topic here uh, because uh, we have been talking about the supply chain because you cannot you, know, you cannot have a quality product unless otherwise you manage your supply chain. So it is the farm to table concept that we have been working on. So as a, as a uh, company who has been there in this industry or in this uh, service for more than 140 years, it just has their own um, innovative, innovative products or the services, so which is one is called the transparency one. The full supply chain has its transparency and it is done through a blockchain uh, system and uh, there's a um, digital platform as well as a uh, app application so in your phone so uh, what consumer can do is they can uh, through an, a through a, a QR code uh, scanning they can 
they have the visibility to the full supply chain. So that is why I said in the beginning also that uh, they will know where the uh, product is coming from, if, if it is from Sri Lanka, from uh, which part of Sri Lanka it is coming from, and how they ha it has been handled, what kind of labeling or like what has gone into that product. So all those details will be available like uh, in a transparency one scheme that is what has been uh, managed so like these are common or like um, very uh, advanced technologies right now in global in global um, scenario and also the digi comply is another thing where you can um, go look at the uh, different uh, country regulations and rules like uh, the standards like like uh, Sri Lanka has SLSI, so likewise we have EU standards uh, for the Europe and uh, US FDA is playing a major role in USA. So all those can be uh, accessed through uh, DigiComply uh, platform again. So these are few of the uh, services that is available, like uh, things that has been happening um, for the fisheries industry. So. Um, like we, we, I mean, as SGS, we have been long-standing service provider for this industry, I think almost uh, more than 25 years uh, in Sri Lanka. So I think our export, um, exporters are very well capable of handling. Uh, there are a lot of uh, uh, major players in this industry who can really uh, uh, take up any potential, any um, demand or uh, and who can really supply any demand. So I also like we would like to share this. Uh, this is this is like uh, 2020 global and local sea conferences uh, in a in a in uh, in one place. Uh, you can also go to this website and see like uh, what's happening in the world. There are different forums and uh, there are different um, exhibitions only for seafood. So uh, so we being a, 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 a strong service provider for this sector. We are part of all these uh, forums and uh, we have a strong uh, uh, seafood um, uh, technical people handling all this. So uh, let us know if you're interested in uh, getting to know Alay or like getting these uh, websites, uh, we will be happy to do so. So and also like uh, to tell you about the local uh, Regulation line, I mean, uh, we as a laboratory, we are uh, approved by Ministry of Fisheries and we get audited by them uh, every year, which are unannounced audits. And uh, so like, uh, so those are the few of the uh, stuff we can uh, tell. So like, uh, Dr. Renko, do we have time still? Yes, you have a little bit. Yes, you do. You okay. have two minutes. Yeah. Okay. Also, would you like to add anything else? Uh, no, I think there were a couple of questions that people wanted to know whom to send if they have concerns or questions, and I will try and then link your, if you send it to my email address, I'll put it in there. Uh, I okay. think it was a very interesting, uh, I think if anyone wants to talk, is there anybody who wants to specifically ask a question, if it's on the chat, or because I've tried to, I, I just asked about species testing, but uh, any questions? I have a problem. I never understood the blockchain in the food industry. Um, without inserting a chip into a fish, how do you manage to track it? That's my question. Go ahead. Uh, uh, right now also, uh, some companies doing this uh, tracking system. Actually, uh, I know one company, uh, they are doing uh, uh, crabs and uh, they have separate uh, uh, system to collect it from uh, rubber to uh, the factory and even uh, they're uh, removing parts and they are uh, uh, handling several products even those things also uh, they can track it uh, but, uh, for fisheries industry also it is possible because uh, especially in Thai Union uh, requirement uh, one requirement is uh, this uh, tracking system. Uh, what uh, Ruvini introduced is something a uh, little bit advanced, and uh, but it is also now using by uh, some other products in uh, China and some other countries. Actually, it was developed from France, uh, and uh, Carrefour, supermarket, and all, they are now using it. If you need, uh, we can send yeah. some more details, madam. Yes. And then basically, it is not actually inserting a chip to the uh, fish, but then uh, it is the packaging. So packaging will have a QR code or uh, some kind of yes. a, 
uh, digital thing. Uh, so that is like uh, there's a Blippa. There's an application called Blippa. Through Blippa, that yes. Is, yeah. Through the through the QR code of uh, QR code in the packaging material, you can uh, directly see the uh, firm level information. Okay. Well, thank you very much for that.